Hi friends, in this video, we shall discuss about anterior cruciate ligament tear. History of hyperextension of knee is the main cause for injury of anterior cruciate ligament. Immediately after the injury, there will be giving way of knee. When compared to meniscal tear, knee joint effusion will be more fast in ACL tear. Patient is not able to continue the activities after acute injury of anterior cruciate ligament tear. Coming to the clinical anatomy, please note that anterior cruciate ligament ACL is connecting the anterior tibial plateau to the lateral femoral condyle. This is anterior cruciate ligament and it is connecting like this. Coming to the clinical examination of ACL, the most common test is Dreyer's test, mainly anterior Dreyer test in which the patient's knee is flexed to 90 degree. Examiner should fix the foot by sitting on the foot, then ask the patient to relax and hold the upper end of tibia just distal to the joint line. Immediately distal to the joint line, grasp the upper end of tibia and then pull the tibia anteriorly. If there is anterior crochet ligament here, then there is anterior translation of tibia when compared to the lower end of femur. In almost all conditions, in 90 degree flexed knee joint, there will be a mild movement, millimeter movement when we are pulling the tibia anteriorly, but there will be a end point, a tough end point will be there. But if there is complete tear of ACL, then there won't be that tough end point. The end point will be soft and there is more anterior translation of tibia when compared to the lower end of femur. This is Dreyer's test. Make sure that the hamstring should be in, in a relaxed position just before pulling the tibia anteriorly. Next clinical examination test is Lachman's test in which the same test is done but the angle is different. In Dreyer's test, the knee is flexed to 90 degree, while in Lachman's test, knee is flexed to 20 to 30 degree. In this particular position, in 20 to 30 degree of knee flexion, hold the upper end of tibia like this. The thumb should be on the tibial tuberosity and four other fingers should be on the posterior aspect. And just like that, the lower end of, end of femur is fixed like this. Anteriorly, place the thumb and posteriorly, the four, four, four other fingers should be placed to check whether the hamstring is relaxed or not. And after that, pull the tibia anteriorly and push the femur posteriorly. It should be done simultaneously, reciprocally, both should be done. Push the femur posteriorly and pull the tibia anteriorly. In this particular position, there won't be such anterior translation normally, but if there is tear to anterior crochet, then surely, there will be anterior translation. Lachman's test is more specific and confirmatory when compared to Dreyer's test. Why? Because in Dreyer's test, in this particular position, 90 degree flexed position, already there will be mild anterior translation of tibia on femur. But in this Lachman's position, 20 to 30 degree flexion, there won't be such movement. And another thing is that if the patient is not relaxing the hamstring, then we shall not able to diagnose the ACL tear with Dreyer's test. But in this position, the hamstring is more relaxed when compared to this position. And the third thing, most important thing is that immediately after the injury, in acute injury, the patient is not able to flex the position knee to up to 90 degree. But here in Lachman's test, it is possible. So Lachman's test is more confirmatory and specific for anterior crochet ligament tear when compared to Dreyer. This is a Lachman's test check in a normal patient to know how to do the Lachman's test. Patient's knee is flexed to 20 to 30 degree and then like this pull the tibia anteriorly and push the femur posteriorly. This is the clinical examination test for Lachman's test and this is complete tear of anterior cruciate ligament. You shall able to see in this particular Dreyer's test patient's knee is flexed to 90 degree 
and patient's foot is fixed by the examiner by sitting on the foot then check whether the hamstring is relaxed or not gently immediately after the joint line hold the tibia upper end of tibia and pull it anteriorly pull it anteriorly here you shall able to see there is anterior translation of tibia when compared to lower end of femur and there is this end point is very soft this is a complete tear of acl here you shall see the anterior translation up to mostly 10 mm anterior translation is c this is lachman's test in lachman's test pull the tibia anteriorly here you shall see the anterior translation easily and coming to the specificity of this lachman's and drawer test mainly drawer test is to check the anterior fibers of acl and lachman's test is to check the posterior fibers of acl theoretically we shall say like that drawers is for anterior part of acl and lachman's is for posterior part of acl like this but lachman's is more confirmatory the only difference between this is drawers is done in 90 degree flexed knee joint and lachman's is done in 20 to 30 degree flexion of knee joint and both the method to do is same in the clinical examination of anterior cruciate ligament tear. Thank you.